Hi Michael, it's Colin. I'm going to run through everything start to finish on how you should set yourself up. Um, and then I'm going to run through updating some files to make sure you, you've got it right. Then I'll, at the end of the video here, I'll just I'll show you where some further instructions and whatnot. The reference materials will be located if you haven't found them already. But I just want to make sure you're you're doing everything in the right order and making the process as easy as possible. I'll explain a couple things as we do this. So what I wanted to do was start out from the very beginning. You had a zip file, and most likely when you extracted it, you would have come uh, there would have been that Akino Black Computers, and inside that is a website folder. Now this folder here is the, called the root. You probably know that already. My apologies if you if I'm repeating myself here. Uh, this is where all your pages and assets uh, would be residing. So on your entire website that is. So let's just define this as a new site. So I'm going to uh, open up Dreamweaver here and uh, let's get it down to a size that we can actually uh, see here. Okay. And then let me get it into the window. All right, so let's define a new site. And when you define a site, it's very important because you're basically, Dreamweaver works with something called assets. An asset is a library file, an LBI file. Here's another site that's open, and this is an example of it. And basically, it's an include page, okay? It only works locally. Um, so when you update one of the library assets, you would then have to go and publish your entire site, or at least the pages that were updated. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about this in a second, but the, the key point here is when you define a new site in Dreamweaver, it creates something called a cache file. It links all the library assets into your pages. So when you update an asset or a library file, um, it will update the information with the, the, it within the pages that it's linked to. So uh, now that I've stumbled across my words, let's just go and define a new site. So we go to the site menu, new site, uh, MB. I'm just going to do a short MB and then I'm going to click on the browse for folder and what I'm looking for here is the um, let me just get to your folder here for a sec right now here is your customer folder that I've created for you and then we have the Kino we click inside and we click inside until we have the website folder and we click into that now we want to make sure that it says select website up here and select website down here. If it does not match, we're, you need to click into, say, the templates folder and then up one level, out again to reset it. This is how we tell Dreamweaver that the website is the root folder and this is where all our, our main files are going to be located. Okay, so when it says select website here and select website here, we just simply hit the select button and then save. When I hit save, watch what happens. This cache file is created. What the cache file does is it goes into your pages and it looks for library assets. Now in most cases you can see your assets by clicking on this tab here if it's visible or go to your window and assets button right there. Okay and then down the side here in Dreamweaver we have all these different things. They're called all the different assets that you would have in your site. It could be images, it could be SWF files, flash files, movie files, and right down here at the bottom, library files. And this is typically the only asset that we would really use or you would, you would use in the asset panel, and they're all library pages, right, or include pages. So when you go to update one of the library files, it will, because it's now cached and defined, um, it should be able to find the pages that it's located in and update the content appropriately. So now that we have the site open, I typically say let's run a quick test. We go and find uh, the index page and I hit F12 to preview it. There it is there coming up. Cool. I'm just going to resize it so it fits like so into the video window. And one of the first things I do when troubleshooting a site, when somebody says, hey, my library files aren't updating, is I open up a page, I scroll to the very bottom, and I look for the copyright, okay, right down here. And then I go to my library, my shared, and there's my copyright library right there, my LBI file. Now, this code right here, forget the meta tag at the top. That's what Dreamweaver uses to say, hey, this is a library asset. But everything after that, all this code in here is simply embedded into the bottom of your pages. So if I were to open up the index page right here and scroll to the very bottom, let me make some room here. As a matter of fact, let's get rid of that. See all this stuff in yellow? These are all assets. 
right? And there's the copyright asset right there, the copyright library file that's embedded into this page right here. So this stuff in yellow, besides the opening comment tag here and the closing end library item comment tag there, everything in the middle of that, that's all your content from your library file. If we open up the fo footer right here, um, there it is there, and it gets embedded into your page down here. Okay, so let's make a change here. Let's go to your copyright and let's change the date to 2003 and save. Now it's going to pop up this little box and this is important because this tells you what pages are being updated, right? It takes about a second a page, so if you have 30 pages it should take about 30 seconds or so when you update a library item. So I'm just going to put this on pause while it runs through everything. Okay, so you had a total of, say, 92 files that examine them, and 91 of them actually use the copyright at the bottom of the page. So we can close this down. Now, my index page is open, and it has a little asterisk up here. Okay, if I click on that, um, basically the asterisk tells me that the page has been updated, which is a good sign because we've updated the copyright. Um, and let's just go find that. See, 2003. There it is. It's been updated right back, right in here. Okay, so that's cool because we wanted to make sure that was updated. Now we can go back and change it to 2002, all right, and so on. All right, so that's just a quick example of uh, when you update a library item, it will update the code within that page, but you still have to publish that page up to the server. All right, now let me just go grab your ticket. I'm just going to create a new page, actually. I'm going to grab your ticket because you have some information there I'd like to read through and make sure I've addressed all your questions. Okay, Michael, so what happened is I read through your ticket initially, and this first sentence, or not first sentence, but this bit here when you were making up your site and you opened, did it with Explorer, that is where I think that things went off the rails, and that's why I did the video at the very beginning showing you how to define the website folder. It doesn't matter where on your computer that website folder is, but you must define it within Dreamer. If you, if you don't, the cache file is not created, and then the library files will not update. So just to repeat, you could have a home folder. It doesn't matter what your folder's name is, but where you put your website folder, that has a huge, huge impact. Okay, or um, basically, wherever you have your folders and pages, whatever that folder name is, it doesn't need to be named website. It could be named something else. It could be named home but you have to define that folder. So wherever this index page is right here and this library file folder is right here, whatever folder these are within, that must be defined as the new website. So when I was at the beginning of the video talking about website, uh, you know, select website at the top and select website in the bottom. So when I did the new, right, and I boom and this here. So when I got to this point here and I said website and website, so if you renamed it to home or you put it in a folder called home or make one C or whatever, it doesn't matter the name of the whatever is up here must match down here and you must see the library template sliders and all these folders within that new folder that you've created, right? And all the pages over that you see over here would have to be within that. And then when you do this, select and save, right it creates that cache now without that cache being created there's no way the library assets can communicate with the pages because that's all Dreamweaver does it says oh here's a page and let's go through these pages and let's see what sort of assets are in them and then let's connect those assets up so when you make an update to it right and i refer to assets because that's what Dreamweaver actually calls them and the particular asset we're using is a library asset or a library page right so um I think if you go through that process, define it as a new site, that should work, because right? I think you've skipped that step. Now, renaming your pages, not a problem. You can do it one or two ways, just PHP and new update, so that any links to your pages get updated, and that's all you have to do, right? You can just rename it right in the site. It doesn't really matter, PHP, HTM, um, whatever and then if you have to put any special code in there to link to your PHP files you can do that but I want to send you this video now so you can get started the very first part is probably the most important and I think we can uh, uh, is there a way to force dream or update your files no if you define your site properly to the to where you have your index page and your library folder and everything you see in here if you define that root folder correctly 
then the library files will update. If not, they have no way of communicating because you haven't defined the site and you haven't told Dreamweaver where the, the pages and the library assets reside. And that's really all you're doing when you're defining a site.